Hi, I'm Tyson with Moscow Moto introducing the Backcountry Cinch Straps. Now, not only are these straps going to tie down your luggage, but they also act as an emergency toe strap as well as an emergency tie down should your bike break down. We'll dive into all of those features in this video. First things first, if I pull one of these straps out of the bag, you'll find that they do come as a pair. So there are two in there. If I unfold this, you can see that these come in at 83 inches long and they are a two piece design. So this black webbing is a high tensile polyfilament webbing and then the buckles are a rust proof steel buckle. On the back side of the buckle, you do have this bit of protection and what this is going to prevent is any kind of abrasion on your luggage when you're using these as straps for your luggage. If I disconnect this strap here, you can see on this end that it does have a lanyard loop and with this strap I have a lanyard loop as well on the end and then just down from that loop I have a second loop. This is to connect a carabiner if you're using these as a toe strap. On this motorcycle we can take the lanyard loop and feed it through the slot on the front of the rack and tighten it down. And then on the back side here, if we also find a slot, we can feed the lanyard loop through it. And both of these steel cam locks will go through the loop as well. And you can tighten that down. I have our Backcountry 30 duffel here. And what's great about this is that we do provide you with two spots on the front as well as two on the rear for straps to pass through. If I grab the metal cam buckles, I can easily feed them through the back and then adjust where they sit at this point. I prefer that they sit right in the center of the bag and I can move that right here. If I grab the front, I can also pass it through and then at this point I can connect it to this cam buckle. From this point I can cinch them down and again just center that so that it's in the center of the bag. Now you may be asking well I have all of this extra strap. If we start with this one here we provide a nice velcro strap keeper and you can roll this all the way up so that it's up against the metal cam buckle and at that point Velcro it down. You won't have to mess with this throughout your trip because your bag should be staying the same size. So that one's set. Now with this strap you can see that we do have quite a bit of length. We provide that because if you wanted to use these as an emergency tie down or an emergency toe strap you're going to want that extra length. However if you don't like that you could easily cut this down to your preferred length. What I do with this is I'll roll it up so that it's a little bit longer and I'm just rolling it all the way up to the two metal cam buckles. Once I get to that spot you'll find that you have velcro. You can place this nicely rolled up webbing inside of the velcro and then close it and at this point you have a very nice and tidy area for all of your straps. Nothing's going to come loose and blow in the wind and then it's as simple as doing the same for the other side. Moving on I'll show you how we can use these straps as an emergency toe strap. If you find yourself in a situation where you need to use the straps as emergency toe straps, you will need both of them. That means that the luggage that you have on the back is going to have to come off. What's great about both the backcountry duffel as well as the scout duffel is that they have built-in backpack straps. So the rider on this bike can take that duffel off, attach it to his back, and now both straps are freed up. In this situation, I'm going to take the longer straps that don't have the metal cam buckles on them. I'm going to take the lanyard loops and attach both of these straps together. What this is going to do is create one long strap. This end of the strap I can take and simply tie it to the bike that's being towed. On this end I'm going to attach the carabiner. Now earlier I had said that 
On this end of the strap with the two metal cam buckles, there's a nice carabiner loop so that you can store the carabiner while you're riding. At this point, I'm going to remove that carabiner and I'm not going to use this strap. However, I'm gonna take it and I'm going to attach the carabiner to this end. At this point, I can take it and wrap it around the rack, attach it, and now I am physically tied to the broken down bike. What's great about having the carabiner here is that if you find that you're in really hilly terrain and you're having to tow out of that, the rider that is on the bike that's being towed can easily disconnect from this bike, coast downhill on his own, and then when he gets back up to this bike, he can simply reach over without having to necessarily dismount on his motorcycle, attach back to that bike and continue being towed. It can just be a little bit easier going downhill on your own instead of being towed downhill. Now, the carabiner is not a necessity, so if you don't find that you wanna carry the extra weight, you could always leave it at home and literally take this strap and tie it off to the bike. In the third scenario, we're using these as an emergency tie down. You can connect one end of the lanyard to either the handlebars or your fork leg, whatever spot you really prefer. And after that one's connected, we have one already connected to our tie down point, be a truck bed or a trailer. And then you simply are going to connect the two together at the cam buckle. And at this point, you have a nice tie down system. Again, these are the Moscow Moto Backcountry Cinch Straps, the ultimate strap that doesn't contain any plastic or elastic to wear out and break. And as you can see, they serve a multitude of different functions. Thanks for watching. I'm Tyson with Moscow Moto. If you have any questions about these straps, please leave them in the comments section below or feel free to send us an email at moscomoto at moscomoto.com. If you think you've seen me before, you may have over on our other channel, which is Adventure Rig. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Adventure Rig.